imposter syndrome could be looked at as a feature and not a bug, i.e. if you're feeling imposter syndrome, it kind of shows you're in the right place, doing the right things, and you're humble enough to understand you're not great at everything. Um, what's got them the job is not the thing that's going to make them successful in that job, that yeah. discomfort grows and grows yeah. and grows and becomes something more mm -hmm. if there's not the support on hand for that person to kind of come to terms with that feeling and understand if it's real or not. Even the research shows that women have uh, actually lack of self-confidence um, much more than men have just because the way we are raised as kids and just because the biases and stereotypes that can happen during our career growth. Uh, so the well-being became such a buzzword, but sometimes I feel it means like you go to massage and spa and like that's your well-being and work-life balance, right? Which is not actually the, the right way. That's the hustle culture. That's the whole you know, the whole way of being an entrepreneur is you work really hard. You're never satisfied with your results. People can be successful uh, with the feelings that they are not good enough. They are not beautiful enough. They are not healthy enough. Look Don't just social media. But the point in my life where I was seemingly at my best, where I was on stage in front of thousands of people, I had my own startup, we were raising lots of money. I was absolutely at my lowest point internally. As soon as you start to be okay with who you are and where you are, then you start to grow. As soon as you hear that word should, that, that's a real danger sign for me because that's somebody else's goal or somebody else's wish or somebody else's journey that you're going on and it's not always yours. I usually motivate myself with a sentence like, you've done everything you could, now go and enjoy it.